hip hop from the beginning has kind of told you what it is in terms of a lot of the male artists. And I think women, just their presence in hip hop pushes back against that. Women played a major role in the, all four aspects of hip hop culture, graffiti, breakdancing, DJing, and MCing. Um, there is no hip hop without women. I think what women contribute to hip hop is uh, a different perspective and diversity. I feel that we contribute that balance. Be honest with you, hip hop for me, it actually, and this might sound a little unbelievable, but it's true, it really saved my life. And when I got involved in hip hop, that became my outlet. What inspired me to become a rapper was the way music made me feel. Music made me feel like there wasn't a care. It took you to a time and space and place in your life. After I decided, you know, I just started really rapping, like almost every day, like I had like a schedule. Like I would work at nine, I would get up like at six in the morning and at least write like a song or listen to a beat or something before I went to work. When I got home, before I went to sleep, I made sure I wrote something before I went to bed. I was just a writer. I was writing battle raps, you know, I was, I was ready for lunch and recess to come, you know, to go and battle the guys. Um, and it just became, it, you know, I, I never thought I'd become famous. It just became um, another passion of mine. You had voices like uh, MC Light, like Yo-Yo, like Roxanne Chante in the earlier days and kind of more as we progress, where there were these very kind of strong feminist voices that were just by their mere presence resisting the patriarchy and the misogyny and the sexism in hip hop. Hip hop is very violent to women. It takes us out of our bodies. The greatness of hip hop is that we are getting to carve out something new. That's what the art form was about. As a female MC, you had to gain the respect, you know, and, and you had to show up and show out. You had to really be able to like rumble with the fellas. And if you weren't able to do that, then you weren't really making it, especially for me in Atlanta. Like I was on shows with, you know, I could name a million male rappers, you know, and I'm the only female on, on, on the ticket and I have to go out there and work triple as hard. As far as like the hypersexualization of films and like selling, sex selling all the time, uh, I think it can be, I think it's a little oversaturated. Queer women, artists, are there, but they because their sexuality threatens male masculinity, there aren't a lot of them that center their sexuality. My hope for the future of hip hop is definitely to see more queer people in the mainstream. Uh, there's so many talented queer acts. We definitely have such an interesting angle to share uh, as far as just like humanity. It's kind of the, the time right now is so fresh for women artists in terms of like a plethora of them. I think that, you know, they will, there will definitely be more female artists in different categories. Even with all the misogyny, women and rap are still being innovative. We're still reclaiming our time, our body, and the multiple expressions of our womanhood or being film. <laughs> that was good. <laughs>